Hi everyone, it's Christopher Robin. I'm doing a review tonight because we are a few days away from Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. So as you can see, I picked up the Battle Armor Batman. The, uh, well, the lesser of the two, the less expensive one because, well, I'll get to that in a moment. But I'm showing you up close one of him and his face. We'll zoom slowly away. There's parts of the package. You can see there's, you know, it's a basic package. You know, you see the top. Don't mind the glare to the bottom. But you know what? We're here to do a figure, so let's just open them. Put this aside. Throw that. Actually, we'll get to that in a moment. But, okay, take them out. I'm doing the unboxing my way. Take them out. All right. Here he is. Batman vs. Superman. Couple days. Can't wait. Hmm. What's plastic? Ugh. Okay, plastic capes kind of stiff. I'll say right now. Cool looking figure. I was iffy about buying these because I'll be honest, I don't. Some of them I've seen, there's a lot of paint scuffs and marks and mess ups. It's like Mattel is. Getting cheaper with making toys. It's only like if they if you gotta spend a ton of money now to get the better quality, but even then you still still mess ups. Like the more expensive one of this one, I didn't buy him because I don't like the face. Cause this one, as you can see, this one looks proportioned. If some of you who already have the twenty dollar version, it looks like his face has been pulled back and stretched. He just doesn't, it doesn't look right. I mean, the rest of the body looked cool, but I couldn't do it. I just can't. This one I picked up because there's another one I'll show you in a moment that I bought because I, I liked it. It's really well done. But standard, you know, standard figure. Kind of joints a little mm, stiff. That's a good thing. Arms, nope, they don't go out that way. They only go up and down. Head moves back and forth. Oh, okay. The head actually rotates. Toys R Us, though, I'll say it. I kind of hate it because I saw in Toys R Us a three-pack of him, Superman Lex Luthor, and lo and behold, the helmet pops off to reveal, you know, his normal cowl. And I said, really? Ah, oh, way to get you to buy it, but nope, ain't doing it. How's the legs on this? Mmm. Good. It's decent. The only thing I still say the cape is kind of stiff. Kind of too stiff. Not like the old Kenner Superpowers Batman where the cape was cloth and it just it flowed. This is just. Eh. Maybe I'll modify it somehow. Maybe I'll uh, put a cloth cape. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, what's he come with? His uh, pulse rifle or kind of gun, I think. Plastic, very simple, dimensional. I mean, not dimensional. You know what I'm saying. A little warped on the here, but what do you expect? Happens when it goes down the, you know, from the original mold down the conveyor belt and the whole process. Plastic tends to warp itself. Let's see. Does it fit his hand? Ah, yep. That's all you guys a standard bend it <clears throat> pose. Eh, I could think of something way to put him in a certain pose. It depends. We'll see. Now let's see the back of the pet. This is one thing I'm gonna point out that I hate about companies when they do this. They show alright, what do you see? You see a basic plain paint job, nothing special, nothing spectacular. But on the back of the package, what do you see? I get maybe it's the lighting, but he's all metallic. Different shades of gray and metallic shine to him. This is cool. This is something I, I would have liked to have seen. Maybe I'll touch him up with some metallic paint. I don't know. As you can see, there's the other ones. There's two more Batmans and a Superman, which... I don't know if you can see that well. If it's blurry, bear in mind, I'm still trying to learn this whole video. He looks all bright and shiny, but in real life, he's not. He's just plain a bright blue or there's variants of a darker blue. I'm not going to pick them up because I have the Man of Steel Deluxe Superman and that one 
That one I love. The that this this one and the other deluxe one I saw it looks good, but still no. Now the other part to this is the reason why I bought him was because of the one of the figures that just got released. It is of the Batman, I believe, Nightmare version where he's wearing the whole dust jacket, and uh, I love him. I bought him because let me get zoom in closer. See. I love it because this really hits it on the money with likeness of Ben Affleck. The whole, the coat and everything, the way he stands, and uh, all the way down to detail for a simple basic figure. Even his guns more, uh, got more detail. The goggles come off, you can put them on his head, or you can put them over his face, which, kind of if you ask me, kind of looks, no. So put them over his head. The jacket does, does, if you want to get the jacket off, but you don't want to take it off because you see the arms are painted. This part of the jacket is painted on the arms, so nothing's too, not more, something if you want to do, if not, don't. Hmm, maybe I'll pick up something else. I, I have to see the movie first. I'm going Thursday with a few friends and uh, going to have a great time, I hope. So... I'm going to do more reviews and get better at lighting and everything else, so please bear in mind, I'm trying to figure this stuff out as I go along. As you can see, there's a couple little, you know, there's a Kylo Ren lightsaber, there's some He-Man swords in the background, which I'll review soon, but there's my other review for the Batman, Dawn of, first Superman, Dawn of Justice, Armored Batman, and Nightmare Batman. Uh, comment below, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you later.